The COVID-19 pandemic has drastically changed our daily lives in terms of eating, learning, working, and leisure times. Japan has experienced five waves of widespread infection and three emergency declarations, but has coped with the crisis without mandatory lockdowns, social restrictions, and mandatory mask wearing as seen in other countries. As shown in the figure, in the COVID-19 pandemic, consumption announcements were concentrated from the early stages of infection to the first state of emergency. Today, I introduce the initial disruption, the adaptation period, and the change to a new normal by using consumption big data for the two-year period from January 2020 to December 2021. I use point-of-sales data from supermarket, convenience stores, home centers, and drug stores provided by Intage Corporation, and data for consumer electronics mass merchandisers provided by GFK Japan. Also, I use data from household bookkeeping applications provided by Zyme Corporation. The POS data was used to observe item level sales trends, while the household bookkeeping application data was used to observe trends in services. This made it possible to comprehensively understand the changes of consumer behavior through the pandemic. Some of you watching this video may be spending more time in drama music streaming services, and participating in various types of schools and events online. Some of you may be spending more time outside, camping, glamping, and so on. Distancing yourself from others and avoiding the three seats, closest spaces, crowded places, close contact settings has become a part of life to prevent infections. In this figure, for entertainment expenditures, we use the household bookkeeping applications data to calculate the monthly growth rate of the amount of the expenditure compared to the same month of 2019, while leisure spending on movies, concerts, and travel declined sharply. Spending on manga and games increased in the pandemic. The growth rate of manga and games are higher during the three declared states of emergency. During the second emergency declaration, manga was highest with 78.4%, and during the third emergency declaration, game was highest with 65.5%. Manga, in particular, remained unaffected by the rush before the consumption tax hike in October 2019 and increased by the 22.8% in September 2020. This concludes that manga and games have been the choices to entertain ourselves indoors during the COVID-19 pandemic. We willingly stayed at home during the semi-lockdown period due to the three declarations of emergency. This figure shows trend in the sales of staple foods, processed foods, and seasoning at supermarkets in 2020 and 2021. We use POS data to calculate the weekly growth rate of the amount of the expenditure compared to the same week of 2019. On 27th of February 2020, the government announced that schools would close and the employees would be required to work from home starting the second day of March. Just before the first state of emergency, staple food sales increased by 33%, processed food by 24.5%, and seasonings by 12.7%. In the third week of April, the year one year growth rate in sales of seasonings surpassed that of staple foods and processed foods. And the following week, the year one year growth rate of seasonings was 26.3%, which was the peak in the pandemic. As the number of meals eaten at home increased during the pandemic, we observed the sales of seasonings continue to be strong. For meal services, we use household bookkeeping applications data to calculate the growth rate of the amount of the expenditure compared to the same month of 2019. For supermarket food sales, we use POS data to calculate the monthly year-on-year -year growth rate of sales compared to the same month of 2019. Only supermarket food sales continue to increase compared to the pre-pandemic. Meanwhile, spending on food and beverage services continued to fall below pre-pandemic. The decline was greatest at the time of the first state of emergency, 
with spending on drinking in particular falling to about 10% of the 2090s level and on dinner to about 30%. While drinking and coffees are expenditures at stores, expenses for breakfast, lunch, and dinner include midday meals that are purchased and eaten at home. Therefore, the year-on-year -year growth rate for dinner is higher than drinking. Of course, it is important to observe the impacts of COVID-19 by industries such as Japanese, Chinese, and Italian restaurants. Furthermore, this data allows us to know the effects of COVID-19 according to the timing of meals, such as cafes mainly used during the day and bars and pubs mainly used in the evening. To analyze whether telecommuting has become more prevalent, we observed sales trends of webcams and headsets, which are used for online meetings and classes by using POS data. This figure indicates that the weekly year-on-year -year set sales of webcams rose by 109.9% and headsets rose by 67.2% in the fourth week of February 2020. When the government announced that the schools would close and the employees would be required to work from home starting second day of March. Before the first state of emergency, the growth rate of webcams sharply increased by 386.1% and headsets by 524.4%. The year-on-year growth rates for both products dropped sharply during the first declaration of the state of emergency due to shortages caused by rapid demand increases and store closures caused by semi-lockdowns. However, after lifting the first state of emergency, we observed that continuous increases in sales of webcams and headsets have underscored the growing trend of running and working at home. During the COVID-19 pandemic, infection prevention products became essential goods in our daily lives. This figure shows the year on winner growth rate of mask and hand sanitizer sales overlaid with the number of new positive cases and the vaccination rates. Over the past two years, both product sales have consistently exceeded pre-COVID-19 levels. And at the peak of the second wave of the outbreaks, sales of masks and hand sanitizers were up 1,689.2% and 2,077.6%. Even in the fifth week of December 2021, when the year winner growth rate appears lower, masks were up about 1.65 times from 2019, and hand sanitizers were up about 1.54 times from 2019. This graph indicates that we continue to purchase masks and hand sanitizers regardless of the number of infections or the level of vaccination rates. It turns out, Wearing a mask and using hand sanitizers became part of our daily lives. During the COVID-19 pandemic, new shopping practices such as body temperature checks and hand sanitizing at stores and entrances have been adapted to prevent infection. As for payment methods, cashless payment has increased to protect store clerks and the customers against the risk of infection. The yellow color denotes the cash-based settlement ratio, light blue is the credit card-based settlement ratio, and dark blue is the e-money-based settlement ratio. I calculate the settlement ratio as the ratio of the number of payments by cash, credit card, and e-money to the total number of payments. The numbers in the graph on the left are values for January 2019, and the numbers on the right are the values for December 2021. Four shopping locations have seen a decrease in cash payments compared to January 2019. At convenience stores, 72.7% .7 of payments were made by cashless payment in December 2021. Meanwhile, in the other three shopping locations, more than 80% of payments were cash payments. As shown in the next figure, we observe the ratio of cashless payments in service expenditures such as cafes, drinking places, clothing, and beauty salons. In all cases, we can see that the shift to cashless payment has progressed more clearly than in the previous figure. Cafes increased the cashless payment ratio by 20% points, beauty salons by 18% points, clothing by 17% points, and drinking places by 11% points from January 2019 to December 2021.
The percentage of cashless payments for clothing was prominent at 80% with credit card payments particularly prevalent. On the other hand, more than 80% of drinking parties are paid in cash. It turns out that credit cards are used in high unit price services such as clothing stores and beauty salons, and e-money payments are used at cafes and convenience stores with low unit prices. These figures tell us about the spread of cashless payments during the pandemic in Japan. We continue to purchase infection prevention essentials such as face masks and hand sanitizers during the low and high infection levels and vaccination rates. Meanwhile, the spread of misinformation on SNS, such as the toilet paper shortage in February 2020, COVID-19 and gargle killing the virus in August 2020, and the antiparasitic drug ivermectin being effective in preventing and treating COVID-19 in August 2021, caused a rapid explosion in purchases. Also, when acetaminophen was recommended for antiferritic analgesia for vaccination, drugs containing it became rapidly scarce since April 2021. However, According to the sales changes with POS data, the correct information was finally provided and the purchasing stabilized sooner. Finally, I used the POS data to draw a cumulative density function for the number of masks sold weekly in 2019, 2020, and 2021. The cumulative density function doesn't provide information on the scale, but it tells us the degree of concentration and dispersion of purchase patterns in each year. In 2019, pre-COVID-19 periods, purchases were concentrated in the winter and spring hay fever season. Half of the year's masks were sold by the third week of April, indicating seasonality in our mask purchasing behavior. In 2020, the rate exceeded 30% in the WHO state of emergency week on January 30th and was gradual purchasing during the subsequent mask shortage period. By the end of May, when the first state of emergency was lifted, it exceeded 50%. Since then, the sales rate has increased at a steady rate as mask returned to the market. Let's pay attention to 2021. The dotted line is the 45 degree line calculated at 150 second week. 2021 almost overlaps with the 45 degree line. During the second year of the pandemic, a mask purchasing behavior didn't show any concentration or dispersion of purchases due to seasonality or sudden shortage of masks. In other words, the seasonality of mask purchases has disappeared. COVID-19 changed the people's behavior significantly. The types and quantities of products and services purchased fluctuated daily and weekly due to changes in the infection situation and social environment. However, official economic statistics observe weekly fluctuations, and some were published as early as the end of the following month or even one or two years in the future. That's why we focused on big data. By using POS data and household bookkeeping application data, we succeeded in creating a clear picture of Japanese consumption behavior. It turns out that we explore how people in living in Japan tackle the spread of COVID-19 by purchasing certain goods and maintaining safe physical distancing.